Hey, everybody. My name is Phil Kohler. I'm here, as always, with my best friend, Andrew Reiner. Hey, Phil. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How do you feel about youth? Uh, really? They didn't give him a name? He's just... Yep. Every child in the game is youth? How do you feel about Japan? I actually like it quite a bit. These are the streets of something something Japan. Looks like Akihabara. I don't know if that's accurate, but let's say sure. People talk about that street a lot, and uh, or that neighborhood, or that area, and... Uh, area, I think it's a whole area, yeah. I talk about it like I'm an expert. That guy we were just passing said his boss is an ass. It's not very nice. I don't like that. So is this like Mass Effect 3, where you can uh, listen in on conversations, and then you don't get quests, travel but you, through the galaxy? You don't get quests, but you do listen in on conversations. This is Yakuza Dead Souls, which is the fifth game in the Yakuza series. Uh, and the first one where they decided to go ahead and add zombies. Okay, so they're going away from being a real serious story to very just being... Like, the, the other ones are very dramatic and serious. This one does not take itself seriously at all. And uh, I'm going to... We'll get into some story stuff, but first I just want to show you what's going on in Japan. So right now we're in the regular streets of Japan, but they have boarded up, uh, quarantined a zone that's full of zombies, and we're going to go... Is that, like that a, zone. is that like a red box right there? You can rent a movie? I think it's not. I think it's... So Millennium Tower is a real place in Japan that, I, that I've been to, I think. Uh, I think. But it's... Uh, I think that's like a directory. Oh. It's telling you like... So you can't get a movie there? No. No movies. You just find there aren't where movies, they keep the movies. There aren't movies in Japan. Hmm. Did you know I am a expert on Yakuza? I actually did a bunch of papers on it in well, school. That's why I invited you, of course. And um, I don't know, you know... The Yakuza was created in 1989. You give us facts, I'll shoot zombies while you tell us about the Yakuza. By a Hollywood actor named Andy Garcia. He pitched the idea of the Yakuza sure. to uh, director Ridley Scott. That sounds right. And together they made a movie called Black Rain, which is about Yakuza. And um, they, they got Michael Douglas to star in it, and I thought that was a pretty nice find on their part. It, it, and getting him into this movie about something nobody knew anything about because it was just all fictional. Yes, correct. Accurate. And from there, the popularity of it created this big kind of cosplay movement in, in Japan. And um, and now you're this, and, game, this is a game about fighting cosplayers. Yeah, and, and it's actually now a real movement in Japan. Like, it's no longer just cosplay. It's actual gangs and people killing each other. And this Sometimes time. that stuff gets out of hand, and that's why, that's why I'm against cosplay, because it goes too far and then you end up with gang what's gonna happen the with yeah the avengers cosplay that's gonna yeah, be coming from the new movie is gonna be insane bad stuff okay we've all heard a... of the people in in seattle that think they're actual superheroes here's this is a mutant zombie it's like what? a special kind uh she's sort of like the witch from uh the left for dead game she's she just screams and that brings other zombies running she screams like a three-year-old that's she's, terrifying she's, she's basically a, a little girl so, this is a game about shooting zombies, um, but it's a game about shooting zombies where the shooting controls aren't necessarily very good. Hmm. Um, it, it's kind of giving me, it definitely feels a little bit like Dead Rising, because it's very like freeform. Well, I like Dead Rising. Um, but you know, Dead Rising didn't quite have the most solid of, of gameplay either. No. Uh, There's so some decisions in that game I wish... Uh wish we were left on the table and didn't make it in the game. Yeah. Like, limited inventory. Yep, this has limited inventory also. Ugh. And this well, also I'm has... Not, I'm not playing that. This also has melee weapons that degrade and all of that stuff. Um, it doesn't have timing stuff, which is nice, but there are totally escort missions. As you can see, you take down a lot of zombies, and on the right-hand side, it keeps track of how many I have killed. So at this point, I'm about maybe three hours into the game, and I've almost killed a thousand zombies. I really like their unique uh, zombie designs with the glowing pink eyes. It, I think that works really well. Yeah. Um, I thought it was, you know, it was going to be a risk when they when they took it, and I was like, I don't know if it's going to pay off, but as you can see here, it looks fantastic. I think it looks cool, actually. Like the thing that's nice about it is that you get a weird, like, little red glow from the side of the screen that is kind of your hint that hey, there's a zombie over there coming at you. And it's it's basically the glow of their eyes is supposed to is what it represents. It works out really well. So what were they doing in this room? They were all just kind of sitting down. It was like zombie nap time. Yep, they were just hanging out. So if they don't smell blood, they just kind of chill, kind of like uh, what was that uh, movie with Will Smith? I am Legend. Yeah, I am Legend. That was an unfortunate one. Here, let's try. Let me see if I can find a car to blow up. 
can How blow about a bus or a truck? So I can't blow that up yet. Um, you actually level up in the game. Oh boy. That zombie throws Molotov cocktails. What? I don't know why. So they're kind of intelligent then? Uh, some of them. Yeah, some of them have weapons. See that one you can see has a 2x4? Uh, and this game is weird. I, I don't know. I kind of like it, but it's definitely not... The shooting is not good. Like, as you can see, I'm just kind of, like, strafing and having it auto-aim. There is actually, like, you can hold Whoa, and What is that aiming. thing? That's another mutant. You think we should kill it? Uh, is it friendly? Is it a zombie? It's a friendly mutant. It's just trying to live its life. It's like a pimple face. I just shoot it, pop it. <laughs> it's actually only its head that's, uh, that can get hurt, so we have to have to stay back and shoot it from here. Oh. Let's see. Some really nicely dressed zombies here. Yeah, it's a good part of town. They're keeping the blood off their clothes. Except that guy. This guy's not, I think he's kind of stuck there. Oh no, that guy's not. So is there a good variety in, in the zombies? I mean, so, so far, far I've seen like three, which is cool. So far, those are the uh, three hours in. Those are the only three I've run into. Um, I definitely get the feeling there will be other mutant types. I saw a winged type, flying type what? in the uh, in the intro video. What's, Here we go. What Let's is this? This is one of my special moves. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so dumb. I really like it. What is happening? I just hit them with a fire hydrant. I don't know why. So the water killed the zombies? I don't think they're... I, are they dead? I don't know. I guess. Yeah, they all just died. <laughs> you should just hang out until it rains and then go outside. Oh, this game is the... is. There are times when I really like this game. It's, it's incredibly dumb, but... So you level up, as I just did there. And you have uh, special moves and stuff that you can throw... You can get points into. So, um... Let's take a look here. And this is the first character you play as. You're actually going to play as three different characters throughout the game. But uh, what you were seeing there, Reiner, was my focus. Uh, they call it sniper gauge, <laughs> which uh, you fill up a meter, essentially. And whenever that meter is full, you can use it and hit special objects in the environment that will then, you know, like usually, like I've used it before to hit like the gas can in a car. And then that has blown up. The car will blow up and take out a ton of zombies. In this case... I hit a fire hydrant. I don't know why that helped, but it did. I have sniper gauge myself, and I after mm -hmm. I blow my nose, I take the used tissue and I use sniper gauge to get it in the trash. Every time. Impressive. You gotta make sure it's full every time. So the right, first let's... the first Yakuza game was developed by Amusement Vision. Yeah. Is that the same team working on this? Uh I don't know. Is that internal Sega? I know it's internal Sega. Okay. Um and I, I think it's the same team that worked on, you know, like the Yakuza three and four, the most recent ones. I don't know if they're going back to the original if it's the exact same team. Oh. Check out the map here. I will uh It's a big area. You have a nice huge chunk of Wow. So it is a nice big open world. You could just kind of cruise around. Yeah, and there's a, you know, like the the first two hours or so were pretty linear. Um, there there are paths. There are certain areas that are closed off until you open them in the story. But but now that it's opened up, I can pretty much go anywhere right now. And uh, I could continue with the story, but I want to show off. Here we go. Let's get some ice. Cream. Are you kidding me? No. We're That's gonna... how you heal yourself. Well, there's a lot of ways you can heal yourself, but this is one way, and it's my preferred way because gelato is delicious. Yes. So let's see here. Wow, it's nice to see that this business is is thriving. I had to, I had to save them from zombies, and once I save them, they're open and they're just fine. But the zombies are still out there. They're fine. So what do we? What kind of? Whoa! Look at the choices. I'm gonna get a triple scoop. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's good. Let's eat that up. What's the ice cream we usually share when we go out? That is good. Uh, cherry is uh, my favorite. Yeah, that's usually what we yeah, That's variety. pretty good. Cherry Garcia is the. What other food options are in this game? Uh, well, your main your main thing is uh, you collect energy drinks, and those are in my inventory, and you use those to uh, to heal yourself, to refill your sniper gauge, <laughs> um, that kind of stuff. That makes so sense. It's 
It totally makes sense. So how is the story so far? Is it's, it's seems crazy, completely goofy, and kind of awesome. Like it's goofy in a way that I really appreciate. Oh boy. Goofy as in they're trying to be funny and be kind of off the wall, or is it like unintentionally so and kind of awkward? They are like they're going for it, but I it's think just so just weird. Going for it. Oh no. Um, I think they are just trying to be. Blow funny. it up, motorcycle. Blow it up. Oh. I think that guy just blew up the motorcycle with his Molotov cocktails. This isn't going good for me. I'm. He's just pulling lit Molotovs out of his back pocket. Yeah. Well, where would you keep them? He just killed himself and all those zombies, I think. Not so very smart. There's a store over here that I want to help rescue. I should point out, uh, so I have unlimited pistol ammo. You don't have unlimited ammo for other guns. So I have a... Um, I have a submachine gun that'll take care of enemies <laughs> Ooh, a lot I like that. faster. Yeah, that's great. But it does keep have, doing that. does have limited ammo, so you end up having to either find or buy ammo to keep using that one. So I tend to stick to my, my dual pistols. All these zombies are trying to kick you. I thought their primary function was just to bite you. No, no, that's not... You can see zombies respawn a lot. Um, it's not infinite respawns, but they will they will keep coming for a while, and they will drop down from these windows. They will run out of corners. You never quite know which uh, side but they're going to hit you They from. never just spawn in front of you. Uh, no. That's good. At least not that I have seen. Got a shiny there. Great. High density polymer. This looks incredible, by the way. I kind of like it. Like I said, it's it's... Really dumb, but I kind of like it. Where is the store? Let's find. Uh oh. It's got the Dynasty Warriors soundtrack. It sounds like. Yeah, it's got some some nice guitar stuff going on. Let's use this bike. To beat up some. Zombies. Yeah. Out of my way. Best use I've ever seen of a bike. Yeah, you're not a fan of bikes. No, I hate it when people ride them. I'll try to take a stick and put it in their back wheel as they're going down the street. That's mean. Oh, here's the store. So what is, Out of my way. is that the one that's on your map there, the red and black circle? Yeah, I just have a wheel now. <laughs> you throw it? The red and black, black circle is a, that's a, like, this area is cut off. Don't go there, basically. Trophy. Hey, trophy. And this trophy. is only on PS3, correct? Uh, yes, that is accurate. Uh, as with the rest of the Yakuza series thus far, uh, it is PlayStation exclusive. Now, here, this, this place... They're going to ask us to help them clear out some zombies. Check this out. We're going to turn around. All these zombies just waiting here. One of the times I did this, I turned around and there was one of those big brute zombies just sitting here. It's like Duck, Duck, Goose. You could play that game with him. Oh, boy. Let's... Oh, boy. This isn't good. Get out of there, Phil. All right, I'm gonna Do you pick your out. character? Are you always this guy? No. So there's, there's four characters, and it's... It's like as you play through the series, uh, through the story, you're going to unlock the other characters. And they're all characters from the past Yakuza games, uh, but you don't need to have any knowledge of the series to get into the game. And they they do a good job of explaining who these characters are. And like I said, it does not take itself seriously, so you don't really need to take it seriously either. How did the how did this outbreak happen? I don't know. So that's a mystery you're going to um, learn. Probably. I just watched a bunch of zombies fall out of a window onto a police officer. And that's how it started. That's how I saw it start. This guy. Oh, these guys are doing really well, too. <laughs> I like that there's just customers in here like a, like a regular... Should we go to the arcade? Yeah. Hey, Sega games in the, the arcade? Sega arcade. It's the Sega arcade, so... Are there playable games? Ooh, let's get some beef on rice. Delicious. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. That is good. You get experience points for eating, too, which I really like. Are there playable arcade games? Yes. You can also play uh, the UFO catcher. Oh, there you go. Darts. Bowling. We I've should, not found the bowling alley yet. We should play darts. Uh, you can also play with the UFO catcher, which, you know, if you've been to Japan, those UFO catchers are everywhere. Um, so I thought that was a nice touch. In fact, let's, uh, when we get to the Sega arcade, I think that's what I'm going to try and try and get something out of the UFO catcher. Oh. Are there like collectibles or is it just loot? Uh, it's just stuff that you can sell for money. There we go. Club Sega. Uh, it doesn't look like it's... Looks like it's seen better days like most arcades. 
Yeah, that's that's actually just what it looks like in <laughs> in Japan right now. Just instead of zombies, get a couple crack dealers outside. Oh, sad. That's so sad. Here we go. So this looks just like... That guy's been playing that game the whole time. He has no idea what's going on outside. All right, let's... Uh... Let's give it a shot. I hate these things. I'm so bad at them. Okay, it's looking good. Get the peep. I don't know. Come on. Come on. That looks off. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's impossible. That's the thing. This, this is a good uh, simulation of UFO catchers because it is just as like, it just screws you over every time, just like real UFO Yeah, catcher. but that guy's down on his side now. You mm. can get that. Right, We're not stopping this video until you get that peep. Might be able to lift his head and just kind of knock him down in there. You can do that. I, I actually did that yesterday you gotta peep oh i won two i eyes the monkey from super monkey ball got two of them do you just have them in your your backpack or pocket i or? sold them because i'm heartless so you just sell these things that's it there's nothing you can really do with them uh unless maybe you know like i said i'm, I'm like three hours in so maybe maybe it turns out that later you can do something with them you got this one. Oh, wait oh Awful. You got more money? Uh, I shouldn't spend any more money here. Dude, I, let me show you the actual arcade games. So this is this crazy game. I don't know if this is based on something... Boxelios? I don't know if this is based off something real or if this is like uh, made up for this game. Hey, Phil. There's a girl in the corner. She has a bat? I think she's into you. She has a bat. I'm staying away. So this is just a crazy shooter. It looks nice. Does it look like a full game? Whoa! That's sweet. Yes, the idea is you just have to destroy these as fast as possible. I don't even know how I'm destroying them necessarily. I like this. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool looking. Um, I don't know if I can quit now. Yeah. You're already up to level five. I got up to like level 30 last night. It just keeps going? It, it keeps going until you run out of time. But, uh, yeah, the idea is, like, you have to destroy those as fast as possible so you don't run out of time. Should we try and do some story stuff? Yeah, we got to see. Well, show me more of the arcade. There's not much else here. I mean, there's there's a couple different versions of Boxelios. There's the UFO catchers. And then I think there's other arcades elsewhere in the game. And then... Ooh, Sonic there? There's a... What is that Sonic thing? Virtual Fighter. That's just a... It looks like it would be something you could turn in tickets hmm. and get prizes. That's cool. What do you guys have to say? Welcome to Sega. Yeah, talk to the girl. Hit on the girl. You can have them change the prizes. All right. Yeah, talk to the girl. There's no actual uh, English dialogue in this. It's all uh, subtitled. But yeah, she's explaining about online rankings. So yeah, when you play Box Alios, you can actually re upload your score and get ranked against people. All right, one more peep. You think one more? <sighs> yeah, you got to do one more. I'll try for a... Whoa. They put in something new here. Get the... The one I want you to win for me is the guy who's frowning. Right, let's, let's win that for me. You got it. Mm, it's a little bit... You got it. He's going to pick it up by the ears. Yes, you got it! No! Oh. These are the worst. I hate these. Yes. No, Phil... Okay, uh, can we can we jump ahead? Let's let's jump ahead because I've got to backtrack to get to where the next story segment is. But uh, we'll jump ahead. We'll we'll jump back in in just a second. All right, here we go, Reiner. This is uh, uh, uh no. this is gonna be our weapon modding and the buying place. So I just wanted to show this off a little bit. So there's a pretty extensive uh, system for buying weapons. I'm actually gonna buy some submachine gun ammo while we're here. I'm just going to say this doesn't seem like a legitimate business that you're at right now. It's in the back of a truck. I don't know if I'd trust this guy. I think he might have just wonder. found all these weapons and he's just selling them. So you can upgrade all of your weapons using the uh, the equipment that you find that's, that the uh, zombies drop, which is pretty cool. 
I love that they named their weapons. That's yes. great. Yes. Uh, actually, we're going to upgrade my uh, submachine gun. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> nice wood handles. Looks like you went the wrong way, dude. Oh, I like that a lot. That's my, that's the first one I did, so there's my trophy. Um, and then you can also sell stuff, which is cool. Uh, so What's I that? Have... Invest in this place? Ah, I will show that as well. Uh, let's see if I have anything to sell first. Um, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cutie girl figure. Go down there. What does that yeah, say? Yeah, we're going to sell these. No, dude, what? They get us a lot of money. And these uh, barrettes are dropped by the... Uh, the the screaming ladies. Let's sell those too. I might have enough money to invest. I wouldn't invest in this place, man. So you can see he gets a new kit once you've invested a certain amount of money. So he'll, he'll have new weapons, new mods, new armor to sell you, that kind of stuff. I'm just going to say the next time you come here, this guy's going to be gone. <laughs> just, just There's gone. not going to be anything in here except that guy. This guy is just living here. He's he got kicked out of his apartment, I think he said. He has some other stuff that you can do, but goodies going to goodies. There's nothing there yet. Oh, it's stuff that I think unlocks later on in the game. All right, so now let's get to the actual story stuff because that's a uh, that's what you're here for. I know as yes. a as a yakuza expert, as somebody who wants to see. So in 2002, all the yakuza syndicates got together and formed the world's largest uh, softball league. Yeah, is that does that come up in this at all? Um, I because it's it's always during the summer. It looks like you might be I have in that time up frame. Baseball bats um, and use them against the zombies. So that's got to be, be hinting at things to come. Might then. be a form of practice. Um, it seems likely. What's that blue flashy thing on that guy's head? Uh, that just means we can talk to him. Usually he'll give us a tip or something. Where did I put that wallet? Tower battle. Oh, there we go. It's a sub story. Just side quest, basically. <laughs> I think he wants to go see that movie and he doesn't have any money. And we got experience points for talking to him, so thank you for letting me do that. So you level up then? Yes. Is there a level cap? I don't know what the level cap is. I'm sure there is one, I just don't know what it is. Where... Here we go. Oh. The Emoto Clinic. I don't think adults are allowed in this place. We're gonna find out. Hmm... This looks questionable. So he's worried about, he has a, uh, back in the quarantine zone, he's left his uh, co-worker who is sick with a fever. Okay. So he wants to get to the doctor and try and figure out how to help. Whoa, swear word. Wear medicine. <laughs> Usually the translation seems okay in this game, but... <laughs> Too sick to move. That happens to me all the time. A lot of days off at work. I, th I just don't understand why he doesn't, like, in this situation, if I had a coworker who was sick like that, I would assume that coworker is a zombie and shoot them. Okay. I'm telling you this for the future. Dan Riker gets sick. Yeah. And there's a zombie out outbreak happening in our world. And he just, he's got a cough. If and then the next cough, day he's they, sweating a little bit. Yeah, then he's he's, he's done. So he's day gone. two he's done. Yeah. Once you're like feverish, it's like nope, you're a zombie. What about locking him up first, just to monitor him in a cell that you could easily shoot through? Every time you see them do that in zombie movies, they end up breaking out. It's a bad bad thing. You don't want to do it. But this is Dan we're talking about. I, I that's making it much easier. You could put him in a cardboard <laughs> box and he wouldn't find his way out of that thing. <laughs> could be smarter as a zombie you don't know how I'd, that I'd give dan i'd give dan a good week and if he was still sick after that i got the fever i'd medicine. have to put him down uh oh people are looking up what's going on up there oh that's so that's the quarantine one thing this game has taught me japan really good at closing off areas of their cities hmm. look at that yeah you're not getting through that there. thing just got put up like in a matter of less than a day uh oh hey all right. As you can see, he's wearing the softball cap. Yes. <laughs> what is this music? It's probably his team's theme song. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. What is going on? 
So I think he's an, he's an American. He must be an American, right? <laughs> Where I come from. Everyone trains in America. This is the American music that they have? I guessed. I love it. I am a child. <laughs> Everyone knows his name. <laughs> what no. is happening? What was that all about? I don't know. <laughs> this game's really weird. <laughs> I kind of like it, though. Oh, there we go. We're <laughs> Gary's Boot Camp. <laughs> and it's a... It's a, it's a business. This doesn't seem legitimate. I don't know. You're questioning this, and you didn't question your weapon dealer. Yeah, that guy's giving me guns, Just squatting though. in an empty room. That guy's giving me guns. <laughs> I don't think he's actually here to train you, Phil. I'm a new recruit. I think you're getting into something that you didn't know was going to happen here. And I don't know if we want to show any more of this. He wants me to start kissing his feet? Yeah, that's it's where it starts. Weird. Yeah. We should Field probably combat. turn around and get out of here. That's not very nice. He called me a maggot. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you're spineless. I like that this is Japan's view of Americans. <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, so field combat, you think? Yeah, I guess All right, we should let's... take a look at what field combat is. Sure. Head tracking? Bye. Head tracking is just like, it'll auto aim at the head. Oh, that's cool. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Good job. Uh oh. Is there no targeting system? Uh, not a good one. Okay. Kind of just. Well, that's wanna, kind of a problem. Kind of want to stick with the auto targeting in this game. I did all right. I'm happy with that. It's quite the real estate he has here just for his little training course. Oh, rank C. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Nice watch. Thank you. I bought it from the guy who sells me guns. <laughs> I got a hundred experience points. I think we should leave this guy alone. All right. Look at the poster! Welcome. Oh, that's the one of the evil guys from uh, True Blood, Eric. Yeah, that makes sense. What's going on in here? Nice couch. He has magazines to read while you wait. Take a good look at those magazines real quick. Let's see if I can... There's a way to... Here we go. Oh, boy. I don't think we can show that stuff on, on Reiner and Phil. Popo, everyone's favorite. Popo magazine. Well, it uh, looks... No Game Informer. So... No. Hmm. Hmm. We'll have to send them a subscription. Unfortunate. <laughs> send a subscription. Can we get a comp subscription for Gary's Boot Camp? <laughs> uh, so this is a uh, this is Yakuza Dead Souls. I think that's probably enough at this point. And the game is out now. The game is out today. Uh, I'm I'm playing it for review as we speak. It's going to be a while till the review's up because it seems like a pretty big game. So but hopefully by the end of the week. Like I said, I'm kind of liking it right now. I don't know if that's going to, you know, maybe 10 hours from now. I will not be as into it, but we'll find out. I think we'll probably see more of these. It was a big hit in Japan. It sold 309,000 copies in its first week. Yeah, the Yakuza series has, uh, has always been really big in Japan. And I think the... Uh, I think the big thing that Sega figured out with, I think they started doing this with number four, where they were like, all right, we'll release it in the US, but we're not going to do English voice acting. They just do subtitles. And I think that lets them release it in the US for cheap, which I'm glad, I'm glad these games, even though they're weird and not for everyone, I'm glad they're getting released in the US. Yeah, it's very cool. So yeah, if this looks interesting to you, check it out. If you like Deadly Premonition, or if you like the Dead Rising games, 
it's got that same tongue-in-cheek sense of humor, and you know maybe the gameplay isn't quite perfect, but uh, it's worth worth giving it a look. Yeah, I uh, you sold me on this. I, I can't wait to check this out. At least uh, at least give it a couple hours. All right. You can cut it off after the couple hours. 